Here is the best chess opening to crush beginner to intermediate level opponents. Within a minute, I'm gonna prove it that it is indeed the best and it does work, especially against players who are 1500 rated or below that. But first of all, let me show you what the variation is. So I'm talking about the Scotch game, which arises from the first moves pawn e4, pawn e5, knight of 3 attacking the pawn, black defends it, and now we go pawn d4 attacking black's pawn, so they do capture over here, and knight recaptures. Now at first you may be wondering, like, Igor, what's what's the catch? It's just one of the possible op openings. And it is true, but it is extremely effective, especially on that sub-1500 rating level, because usually black played completely wrong and got crushed very quickly. First of all, they do play this run move knight takes d4, which already gives you a very dominant position with your queen out, you, you took the center, your bishops are ready to be easily developed, and black is already on the brink of disaster, although it may not look that way. But now, very often, they continue playing run moves, because the correct move is very difficult to find here for black, and in most cases they don't. 90% of your opponents will play one more error here, for example, something like knight to f6 which is a standard move in other variations, but here it simply lets you to play pawn e5, chasing this knight back to g8, and black is completely uh, passive there and completely undeveloped. If they try something like pawn c5, and they will, sometimes trying to chase your queen away so that their knight can move to some better square, uh, you, you then move your queen away, okay, we still maintain this attack, and wherever it goes, we're gonna keep attacking it. For example, if it goes to g4, attacking your queen, we play queen e4 and attack this knight once again. What can they do? I mean, moving it back to h6 doesn't seem very, very lucrative for black for sure. First of all, you can trade it and completely disrupt their pawn structure, and it's passive there anyway. Very often they try pawn d5, trying to, you know, open up this bishop, getting it involved, and you take Ampassant, delivering check to the king, the only normal way to cover it would be bishop e6, and for a second it looks, it looks like black's position is more or less fine, but bishop to b5 just wins the game. It is uh, just the 10th move, and it's time for black to resign. It's checked to the king, the only normal way to cover, the only legal way to cover would be to play queen d7, just giving out the queen, and you take here, then you take here, and you win the rook, so you win everything. And that's how you can crush, sometimes even an, an intermediate level opponent. You may be wondering, like, hey, Igor, but only some complete beginner would play that way. Not really. Here I've opened a database of games with statistics so that here, in the bottom right corner, we can see the moves played by players. And at first I've opened the Masters database, okay? Now let's take a look at which moves do they play. You can see that nobody, literally nobody plays knight takes d4 because that is just wrong and they do know it. Master players know it. They play knight of 6, bishop c5, bishop b4, knight of six, queen of 6, whatever, but not knight takes d4, okay? If we move on to the amateur database, the database of amateur players, we can see that knight takes d4 is the top choice by far, with over 15 million players playing this wrong move. And if we look at the average rating, you can see that an average rating for the knight takes d4 players is 1501. So that's why I've said that against this level and beyond, it works extremely well. And um, if we're talking about, let's say, the bishop c5, which is a much stronger option, then you can see that the average rating is 1700, okay? So that's why, yeah, against stronger level opponents, this may not work equally well. But against beginners, that works wonders. So if black takes here, knight takes d4, and you recapture with your queen, then guess what? Here, if we turn on Stockfish, it's gonna show us that the correct move for black is queen f6, and white is still better, but at least black's position is bearable after that, okay? But you see that only 10% of players do play queen to f6, and 90% of players play some other moves which are completely wrong and will usually allow you to beat them in no time. All right, now let me show you the main line of this variation and how you can win there. Uh, the, the main choice of black here is pawn d6, because we do know that developing their knight instantaneously allows you to kick it back, so that doesn't seem very good for black, and it, it isn't. So they do play d6 first, so that you can't push their knight away that easily. But you still maintain a much more active position, so knight of 6 is played, and then you do play bishop g5, putting your bishop out and preparing to castle queenside, which also puts your rook to an active square after bishop e7, you do castle queenside, and after they castle, there are different ways to go about this, but I recommend the most aggressive approach, pawn e5. You break through in the center and you start attacking black. You also take advantage of an active position of your rook here on d1, putting pressure. Now you're attacking the knight, attacking this pawn. If they take, you recapture, it also opens up this discovered attack. And they usually move the queen away, queen e8. Now you can pick up this pawn, 
So we snatched one pawn, and after they play almost whatever move, bishop e6 is the most common, but after almost any move of black, you're gonna go bishop b5, which not only develops a bishop, but wins the game right away, because now we're hitting the queen, and it can't go away, because if it does, we win another bishop over here on a7. So that's how you completely demolish black, with very simple moves, very simple attacks, within just something like 10 moves. One doubt you may be having about this Scotch game is what if black doesn't play this wrong move, knight takes d4, but if what if they do play the correct move? Okay, we'll, we'll get you covered. So, if they play the move bishop c5, which is the second most played move, as we saw in the database, then I've got another video, which I'll link up there, uh, where I cover some really tricky and nice variation for white against it, you may check it out later. And the other common move of black is knight to f6. And here I recommend that you play simple chess, so that you don't need to know anything really, okay? They attack this pawn, so you defend it. A very simple game, you don't need to know any theory. Here bishop b4 is the main move, if black wants to be active and try to, you know, pin your knights and attack this pawn, so you just need to def defend it. You cannot play bishop d3 right away, because that hands this knight on d4, you know, black can capture it. Therefore, instead of bishop d3, you just trade off the knight first, Knight takes, and then bishop d3. And that's basically all you gotta know here, because all your moves are very, very simple. You're gonna castle, you're gonna play bishop g5, finalizing your development, and you are good to go. The position is about equal, a stronger player will win. Here comes a little chess challenge for you. It is white to play and win. This is our puzzle of the day, and if you can't find the winning variation, please write it down in the comments below. The solution to the puzzle, as well as all the other resources that I'll mentioned, will be in the description below the video, you may check them out later. And if you want to know the method that allowed lots of my students to achieve their chess goals, you're welcome to attend my free masterclass by clicking the link over there. Have a great rest of the day, talk soon.